Gerald has a couple questions. And the first is, hi, Lou, with the eviction foreclosure moratorium being extended now to October 3rd, how do you handle your lease purchase tenant buyers and your owner finance buyers who cannot pay? Well, Gerald, what I would encourage you to do, unfortunately, uh, we've got this challenge of an additional extension and some jurisdictions are ignoring it. And the reason they're ignoring it is because it's unconstitutional. There's a contract between the resident in the property and the owner of the property or the manager of the property. And that is the basic foundation of our business is contract law. It's basic foundation of all business, frankly, not only in this country, but worldwide. And so what's happening is a, a quasi governmental agency, an advisory agency has come out with a mandate that they don't have the right to do. And the Supreme court already told them that, and they went ahead and did it anyway. So I don't think that this has got legs to stand on. However, we are here and we are now. So what do we do? Well, first of all, like, like I was saying, some courts are not paying attention to that. They're moving forward and some sheriffs and remember this, the sheriff is the constitutional law officer of the county in which the property is located. So sheriffs may choose to go forward with evictions. So those are two different anomalies that may exist, meaning that they, those opportunities exist in your area to go ahead and retrieve your property from a non-payer. But the third thing is to go ahead and file the eviction anyway go ahead and file the dispossessory action or whatever they call it in your area. And the reason you want to do that is to cause behavior. So sometimes people uh, have a wake up call when there's the knock, knock, knock on the door and it's the sheriff and they're trying to serve papers. So always be aware that that can cause the resident to do something. We certainly do use that as a tool whenever someone gets behind and they're not working with us on a payment plan and they're kind of sticking their head in the sand and ignoring us. Okay. The only other option is to go ahead and file that, that dispossessory action. And when that occurs, surprising things occur <laughs> that they will bring in their money. They'll bring in all their money or some of the money. They'll do a workout with you. So definitely, take action. Gerald would be my advice on that. Great answer. Luke.